Hey y'all, welcome back. Well, today's video is gonna be a little different than what you used to the last couple weeks. This video is gonna be about trail baloney. So some people call it summer sausage. They do make different kits. But anyway, I'm gonna show you what I have found and what I love and two ways to do it. So we're gonna get in to this backwoods mix and I'm gonna show you exactly what I do to make this. And it can be cooked in the smoker or in the oven. I prefer the oven. So y'all stick around. So I've always done jerky with most of my deer, my extra meat for my deer or whatnot. So um, actually a guy I know had had his deer done in what he called trouble So, uh, you know, summer sauce, trouble on whatever. But he told me the kit and Sarah got her button buck and we worked it up completely in this backwoods it's a backwoods cured sausage seasoning. So it's a summer sausage uh, trail bologna kit, as you can see right here. I've done this for about four or five times for four or five different deer. So I've done took the first step out. We'll do the unboxing here in a second and I'll show you exactly what you gotta do. But I actually have done ground up my meat with a number two plate and now we'll be adding the rest ingredients. So I'll go ahead and get into an unboxing here so you can see exactly what it takes to make this. Okay, so here's the kit. And basically this kit comes with everything you need. You're gonna have 20 fibrous type casings. You're gonna have your string to tie it. And it's gonna come with four individual packs of seasoning. Now what this does, what this is, that's the all the kit in the box. Each pack does five pounds. And in this kit, there is a, don't throw the little pack away that's inside it that we'll show you here in a minute. There's a little white pack in here and that's your cure. That's what keeps you from catching, you having botulism or whatever. But you can see here it says, season five pounds of meat. And so we're gonna be adding cheese to ours, high temp cheese. So the kit, it's got them enough to do 20 pounds with the cure in it. Has, has all the casings that you soak in hot water for five to 10 minutes before you stuff them. And it comes with a string. So the rest of what you're gonna need, after the contents are out of the way, you've done seen the unboxing. I have done ground this five pound pack the other night. Uh, I put five pounds in a vacuum seal bag. They have been run with a number two plate. So the first step is to run all your meat with a number two plate. So I have my 20 pounds of, uh, actually it's 18 and a half, it's a little shy of my ground deer on number two. Next thing is we're gonna add high temp cheese. Now I'm gonna do a little bit this time with the Eldon's um, uh, pepper jack cheese, but I have over two pounds left of some that I got from Amazon. Now all these links will be in the description below. So I'm gonna show you step for step. This is what I, oh, and one more thing. It calls for bacon. And what I have found, Food City had this. You can use bacon. If you do, use thick cut with a lot of fat and put you about a little less than a pound per five pounds to get your ratio right. But this here is three pounds of sliced bacon ends and pieces. So there's a lot of good fatness. If you can get this, you're really gonna love the taste of it. So you got your kit, you got your bacon, you got your cheese, and you got your ground. So we're gonna set up at the grinder and get things going. So like I was saying, with the only step you're not gonna get in this video is the very first step. So, I'm gonna show you. You wanna grind your deer. You can do it at a number one right off the bat if you want to. But as you can see, this is a number two plate. This is a number one plate. You're gonna to want to use this plate first just to grind it to like chuck and thick and get it ready. So we've done use this plate to get us to this point. So this is all ground in number two. 
So I'm gonna put the number two up. We're not gonna need it in this video. So you'll step one, you'll take your deer and you'll grind it with a number two. Then step two, you're gonna put the number one back in. And you're gonna use a number one plate and uh, to grind the rest of it. So I'm gonna weigh the bacon and figure out what I need and then I'm gonna go from there. So I've got my bacon, I've weighed it and I've got it in the right proportions to mix it by my five pound mixes. So I'm gonna take my first pack of meat, go ahead and open it up. Get me a bowl here. You're gonna mix your bacon and your ground together. So, get my ground ready. Fire this up. Now we have our right amount of bacon and we have our five pound of ground. Uh, had a couple pieces over there that was kind of frozen. I'll mix them back and mint won't body with that. But now we're gonna move to mix and cheese in the So mixer. what I was saying earlier, you could actually do this before the last step. You're gonna take your casings and run you some hot water and you're gonna dry, take your casings and open them up, warm water, whatever, and go ahead and soak them in here. And me and Kim made the first batch that we ever tried and we didn't wet these and it didn't turn out as good. So throw them in, kind of loosen them up a little bit. You want these wet, you want them to absorb everything and get it the way we want. So you're gonna leave this in the water for five minutes in warm water. And then we'll load the stuffer this, while this is doing this, it'd be a good time for you to load. Now for the next step, as you can see right here, I'll show you on this. It shows your measuring chart, one tablespoon, two tablespoon, one ounce per, uh, one ounce water per pound. What I have found is five ounces of water for five pounds, like it says, for entire pack. Now, when you open this pack up, you're gonna see the ingredients. There's a pack in there. A lot of people make the mistake, this is your cure. You have to add this to it. A lot of people throw it away thinking it's a freshness pack. It's actually not. So we're gonna get five ounces of water and mix this up and then put the meat and two cups of cheese. So you're gonna add, I've got five ounces of water in this cup, my season and my cure. So I'm gonna mix this up and then we're gonna add everything. Okay, so I've got my, I actually dropped a little cheese in it, but I've got my five pounds. I'm gonna go ahead and dump it in the hopper. Go ahead and dump one, two cups of cheese, and I'll take my mix, pour in there over it. You'll have a little bit of cure residue in the bottom. Now you can do this in a blender. I prefer to stir it by hand. So we're just getting enough water to clean the jar out. We'll take our lid and we're gonna mix. Get it all mixed up evenly. This tub will do 15 pounds, but I'm just doing the first run to show you how it mixes. If you end up, you want it to be consistent and thick like a, a patty. Uh, so just keep mixing. You can turn backwards if you need to flip it around, but on this mixer, you're supposed to turn the mix to the right. So I'm gonna mix it up real good. Make sure everything's even. All 
All right. And you're wanting this to be the consistency of like a patty. So pat it out real good and see if it'll stick to your hand. If it'll stick to your hand, you're good. So now we'll move this to the stuffer. This is only a three pound stuffer. So when you mix this, you really, or when you put this in here, you really want to mash it down in the container. If you're doing it with a stuffer, you want to mash it down to where there's no air gap. Just like that. Keep mashing it flat. You do have a release valve in the top of your stuffer if you're using a stuffer and that will let some of it off when you're cranking back but i do advise do not make the mistake i did i got a 15 pound meat hopper and i've got a three pound stuffer you will keep mashing it in of course it all ain't gonna fit You want it to all be stuffed nice and neat, just like that. Okay, so we've got the stuffer loaded. We've got our casing out of the water. Now what you want to do, I put a big tube on it. And if I had it to do over again, I would get a five or a 10 pound or maybe even an electric uh, stuffer. Um, you about gotta have this. Well, you can get away with sausage, but you just about gotta have it for trouble only. But what you're going to do is you're going to run it all the way up. You might get some air, but you're going to pull your case up. You're going to let it naturally push through. And then when you get about halfway, you're going to back back off. I've already, you need to make sure you put lube on this shaft because they will wire up quick. So we're going to go down to we get pressure. You can see the case and start to blow up with air. It's pushing a little bit of air out and there comes the meat. So you're going to hold it tight. It's go, it can come around it. That's fine. This is an inch and a half tube. And you're going to let the air come out the end. And when you get about halfway, you're going to go back one turn. That way you don't have it pushing out. Take your casing. I have Kim ready to, uh, with the string. You're going you're gonna to take the casing and twist it. As you can see, and then Kim is going to tie it with a string. And this is your finished product. You have your string that comes on it. You can hang from a smoker. You can lay it in a tray and smoke it, but Kim cut that. You only want to leave a little bit at the top. And then you might want to roll this. Sometimes you get air pockets and you can use a needle. As you can see when I rub my finger across, it moves. You can actually roll this on a table like so and push the holes in it and get it where you want it. But I'll wash this casing off and I'll do, I won't bore you with the rest of it and I'll show you what it looks like when we get a full run done. We have got everything stuffed. So I'll show you what we had two short bags, but what I done, I done 15 pound with cheddar and I done, well, really four pound. I told you one was a little shy. I did right at four pound with uh, pepper jack and doing that, I had some red cases used to keep it separated. So. Here's the finished product, uh, one pound packs. I had a, a short one, but anyway, there's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. There's 18 here. So the kit comes with 20 casings. If I had kept up the pace I was going, mixing two cups of cheese, I would end up going over my casing limit anyway. So still gotta wash these off. And then we're, we're gonna take these in the house and I'll show you how to uh, go to the next step. And you're gonna love this stuff. If you do it, you're gonna love it. This is this stuff's really good and it's not that hard. Okay, well now we got everything processed. I got everything in its cases like y'all seen. So I'm gonna do this batch in the oven. So there's two ways you can do this. Well, I'm sure there's multiple ways, but there's two ways I do it. One, I put it in my smoker, a cabinet smoker, got a master belt cabinet smoker. And I don't put no more, I don't put any on the third rack. I make sure I got the water pan in it. Um, got two racks and I lay them on there. I don't have the hooks. A lot of people hang them by the hooks. I don't do that. And I do it at 225 for six hours till the core temperature is 165. But 
they tend to they you know they keep cooking after you take them out unless you get my ice bath so they taste good i like that but these that i've been doing in the house just seem to be a lot better so the next step is you can see i've got the trays laid out here i've got them on a cookie cookie pan one of kim's cookie pans and i've got them laid out uh ready to cook i have done preheated the oven to 300 degrees so you're going to put them on the middle rack Set them up. You put, I put two trays of them in. So, you put that in there. 300 degrees for an hour and 50. All right, the timer just went off. Run the sink of water. Emptied out the ice tray. The purpose of this is when you get your meat out of the oven after it's been in an hour, 15, hour and 30 minutes, whatever you want, you want that core temperature about 165. The meat will continue to cook if you set it out on the cookie pans or the trays, it'll continue to cook. So you gotta put it in an ice bath for a few minutes to stop the heat from keeping it from cooking. And it also helps keep the juice in the casing. So we'll get this out. glasses up. You can see the steam coming off of them. You're just going to drop them in the bath. Now, use about two bags of ice is all it takes. Uh, there's a lot. I did a lot this time. You just want to cool them down and keep them from cooking. I mean, what I like to do is I have these trays that I stack them back in and put them in the refrigerator and then they'll sit in the refrigerator overnight. And once they sit in the refrigerator overnight, they're ready to eat. So we'll let these set 10 minutes and uh, bring them out, put them in a tray. And we'll cut, cut into one. All right, it's the next morning at work. Uh, I have already cut one piece this morning, but I'll show you if you, as you can see, it looks really, really good. Cut through real good. If you use this in the smoker, a lot of times the casing won't be as firm as it is now. It's kind of wrinkled up from cooking or overcooking. So you could come out of the smoker and put it in the bath ice bath and probably keep it more like this with a smoke taste but the oven to me is really good so you're going to cut that is just about perfect and the cheese is what sets it off just unreal I mean, crackers, whatever you want to put it in, it is really good. So I recommend that you try this. This is my recipe. I found something that worked. I've tried a bunch of different ones, and this is the best. All the links to everything you need will be in the description below, except probably the bacon. You can go to get it at the store. You could also use fat back. You could also use pork back. You could use as much as you want or whatever kind you want. Just try to keep it under a pound for every five pounds of meat. This can be done with home accessories. It don't have to be the commercial stuff like I've got. It's very simple. It's great. Now, what I do recommend is don't leave it in the refrigerator over probably three or four days. You want to get you a couple sticks out and go ahead and freeze the rest if you're going to do that much. Or just do five pounds at a time. It makes it a whole lot simpler and you get five sticks. Those cases are one pound sticks, half inch by 12, 13 inches long. So you won't regret this. I hope you like this video. Please drop in the comments how you do it or the cures that you like to do, and there'll be more videos coming like this. I think we're gonna do a sausage next from Legs. So this video here, the main reason I done it was for Calvin at Calvin's Corners. Go check his, his uh, channel out, a good friend of mine, and uh, he was wanting to see how I'd done this. So 
Here it is, Calvin. And to everybody else, enjoy. See you on the next video.